and welcome links here and welcome to the second episode of date with modius so i assume we might be going on second date or something we'll see lots lots let's find out it's a new day after all it's a new day also there might be uh more games like this eventually date some character from uh helltaker so you know if you like that kind of stuff consider subscribing well first you know check this video then decide and yeah anyway it's a new day and the time is 9 a.m we'll have another date activities today but this time we'll spend it just at home which is not a bad idea Let's enjoy ourselves today, even if we're not going anywhere. Today's gonna be fun as well, I think. Let's see what will be the first thing to do. Hello there, you know what to do here. I'm not going to repeat myself. So, enjoy. Choose your activity. Play some games, watch a movie, make some sweets. Seems like the last option would be the best for the start, I would say. Because that way we have sweets for games and movie. Let's do it. Nice. We decided to make something sweet. And what could be better to make then? You probably guess it by now. Pancakes. Modius got interested in the pancakes we had at the restaurant. So she asked me to teach her how to make them. And since you already know, that's my specialty. I told her we'll do that someday, very soon. Except that very soon was the next day after all. So let's head up to the kitchen then. Okay! So we are in the kitchen. And with that, let's prepare the ingredients for making pancakes. Mm. Want like flour, milk, egg. What do we need exactly to make pancakes? To be honest, it doesn't really need a lot of ingredients. We'll need mainly three of them, which are egg, milk or water. Water? I've n Dude, what I think... What if those pancakes that I ate sucked? Made by other people, but because they used water. I mean, I do completely... Again, I do the fluffy ones. Uh, and they taste good. They are with milk. Dude, I wonder if that's the reason. Whatever. But why would you make pancakes with water for? That's ridiculous. And floor. Dude, I gave all three ingredients. I'm also good at pancaking. The real pancaking, not the disgusting pancaking. Oh, that's it? Seems... <clears throat> Seems easy. Yeah, they are super easy to make. That's fair. Later, add some jam. Mm. You can add sugar, I guess, as well. Some chocolate, maybe. Anyway. Technically, yes. We'll need other stuff, but that will come later. For now, that's what we'll be working with. So bring me an egg. One. A cup of milk. And a cup of flour. Got that. Give me a moment. Modius. <clears throat> Modius reached out to the fridge to bring the egg and milk. And in the corner, the flour packaging was already there. A few moments later. She brought all the ingredients onto the table. Good job, Modius. Thanks! <laughs> so let's start right away. Not sure what to do now. But I'm gonna assume we need to mix everything to one bowl, correct? Oh, yes, that's correct. For someone who never cooked before. Or maybe she does already. Who knows? 
She seems like she was familiar with that stuff. But maybe it's me. Modius combined everything into the pole. And now... Still, it's like your life depends on it. Okay, I'll try that. Modius steers the mix with full power. To the point her face got lots of flying butter in it. <laughs> wow, going that hammer at that? Going like that at it's nice. Sure. Well, maybe not that much. I guess I got too excited for life me. <laughs> Moments later. Okay, now the battery mix is mixed pretty well. Let's move on to the next thing. We need to prepare the pan to receive the butter. Let's heat it up. And apply some oil enough for a single pancake. Oil. Mmm, no. Because we'll do that for every single one. Yeah. That's true, actually. That's true. Don't try on one serving. <laughs> I mean, you learn while you go at it, right? I used oil only once and, well... What I got out of, like, the third pancake was charcoal. <laughs> Even though it was so... Uh, it spent so much less time on the pan than the first one, for example. It's funny. <laughs> anyway. That was all so easy! Yeah, maybe. But the next part required to be accurate. Modi was got panicked for a second. Eh, eh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, accurate? What do you mean by that? It's something similar as diffusing bobs? Hmm. What an analogy. Well, kinda. We need to pour the butter as thin as possible. That's not necessarily true. Unless, again, you are making the disgusting ones, yeah. Otherwise, it can be called pancakes. Yes, it can. It's a cake made on a pan. It doesn't need to be the freaking flat. Let's address something for a quick moment. Actually, the thing we're making right now, they are called crepes. Eggs. That's what we're supposed to do. But for the sake of familiarity, we're calling them pancakes here. Is that so? Let's pretend, ver pretend there are pancakes in this situation. Okay? We're good? Let's continue. I mean, to be fair, at least in Poland, right? What they are doing is not called pancakes. But like, what I'm saying, like the fluffy ones are. They don't have like a Polish word for them, I believe. Whatever. It requires inhuman reflexes. Years of experience. And molecular perfect balance between flour and milk. Good luck. Hey? Hey? I have that weird feeling. It's like you're talking to some audience. Aren't you? Oops. I got carried away. Okay then. Let's meet right now. Sure. Be my guest. Modus fills the ladle with the mix and then pours it into the pan. That amount was... Perfect. Yes! I nailed it! Now next thing to do is to cook it for one minute. Really? Dude, I... <sighs> I never follow, like, the time, whatever. Go with the flow. Flip it, then cook for 40 seconds, and it's finished. If you can handle this precise task. But you answered my question with confident tone. Why? Of course I can. Who do you think I am? But let's be real for a second. Modius did these instructions with no mistakes whatsoever. She's really a quick learner. 20 minutes later. Phew. 
That was quite a task. We ended up making loads of pancakes. Mm. I mean, given the recipe you gave, so 1 minute 40 seconds per one. Let's round it to 2 minutes with pouring, flipping. Was it 20 minutes? So they made like 10. Alright, I guess. I mean, for two people, you don't really need more, I would say. You don't want to overeat. Hmm. They sure smell pretty delicious. Time to dive in. Dive in? Or well, like dig in? But... Wait a minute. <gasps> What's that? Remember I said that we need to prepare other stuff for the pancakes? <gasps> yes! Why? Because it's time to do just that. Maybe there's some people out there that enjoy eating pancakes by themselves. And that's totally cool, I'm not judging anyone. As people have preferences. But the beauty of it is to add various stuff to it. Yes. <laughs> I think she's worried that I'm talking to you guys. But let's leave that aside. <laughs> Sorry. For this, we need to have chocolate spread and some bananas for filling. Okay, I've never tried with bananas. I'm gonna lie. Chocolate, yes. As I said before, jam. Just sugar. Have I tried strawberries? I think I tried with strawberries, though. I think we still have some, them somewhere, let me check! Yeah, luckily we still have them here! Bananas are still intact! And the chocolate spread can be... Can was never opened! Great! Now let's fill some pancakes! Yeah! <sighs> let's fill them! With love! <sighs> it's gonna be... <sighs> great! <sighs> Experiment! The bonk is here! So actually the bong doesn't have now one more I can scroll why can't I scroll back? Okay we can. No we can't what the What use We're cooking right now Keep your thoughts to yourself Okay okay I'm sorry We prepared some pancakes for the surgery. For the sir? <laughs> wow. I was applying the chocolate spread. While Modi was chopping some bananas and spreading them to the pancakes. After moments of preparing stuff, it's finally done. We brought a couple of pancakes in plates and heads up to the table. Oh, they smell so good! But. How the taste is gonna be? There is only one way to find out. And that by giving them a taste, of course. Modi was having a bite from the pancakes. And suddenly... This... This is... So delicious! I know how tasty these pancakes we had at the restaurant. But these... They feel even better! Homemade stuff is the best after all. I know, right? And the best part is... You're the one who did that. It always feels good when you make something by yourself. Isn't that true? Indeed it is. Guess I've discovered just today. We had a good time eating the pancakes. So I guess I can say now. I ended up with a... Glorious success! That, that was a really great activity! I had fun making pancakes! Same here! We should do that again next time! We did! Can't wait to make them again and try new feelings and other stuff! <laughs> Where's the bong? She needs the bong! Well, what can I do? Modius is Modius, after all. And that won't change anytime soon. Kill 
your activity. And let's go with games. Games, yes. Let's go with that. Okay. Modius, I'm gonna get you into hell. You will have to play Helltaker. Totally a game for newbies. No, it's not. My god, what the... What the hell that was. <laughs> it was a hellish experience. Like, listen, I like the game. I definitely like the game, but oh my god, it was tough to beat all of that. It was really a challenge. But we've managed somehow. <laughs> Luckily now. Anywho, we decided to spend time by playing some video games. I, for myself, like to play video games every once in a while. It's not like I consider myself a true gamer by any means. Same. Still, I have my share of games that I do like to play. Maybe it will be different to other people's taste. Um... Do I remember correctly? Games was... The, the one that liked games. Molina, right? But hey, don't judge me, Ovo. In this case, I'm not so sure if Modius will find that interesting. Hmm, let me ask you this. And I know it's a little bit of late for it, but have you ever played video games before? I guess she was expecting that question by her reaction. She responded with that. I haven't. I've only seen Malina. Yes, I was correct about that. Playing video games many times before. Mainly turn based strategy games like she always did. Respect for that. Respect for that, really. Um, I don't think. Like, I don't have the mind for it. <laughs> On the other hand, we did play some. Like, Kind of. We played ter turn based games a little bit. It's been a while for. Like, Sunrider was that. Mm. Valkyria Chronicles was that. Even though we only played the first one. Wait, was. Yeah, that was Valkyria Chronicles. Just that. We played this one. I was supposed to play on PSP, I think, number two and three. I played a little bit of 2 and still have not finished it. Speaking of which, I have not played on PSP in so long. Problem. But yeah. Anyway. It got me really... <clears throat> it got me really curious. And I do want to give it a try. Oh, I see. So this is gonna be Modus's first time playing a video game. Mm, I should suggest her a game that's somewhat easy to play. And also with a good storytelling to keep her engaged. Okay. I got this. How about you try this game? And what game did I suggest to her? Well... I actually don't know what that is. It's other than the most famous RPG game, Below Story. Below Story. I absolutely have no idea what you're referring to. Uh, guys, I need help. Do you guys know what he's talking about? Below Story. Below story. I don't know this game. What? What is that? Below story game. Is there something like that? No. Is there like, I don't know, above story? <laughs> of course there isn't. I, fuck, I don't know what this is referring to at all. And it's bothering me a lot right now. Below story. Wait, not there. No, I don't think her. 
Maybe it's one of the games from Van Ripa. Nope. Not on Steam at least. Hmm. Whatever. to sound rude or something but judging the cover and those primitive graphics it gives me the feeling of how boring it is i kind of expected that answer somehow because i've heard it from a lot of people well uh yeah you're not the first one to to say that but for your first game give it a try you will really enjoy playing it that much, I can guarantee. <laughs> to be honest, if I were to recommend a game for someone who's never played before... I don't know what I would say. Are we trying to make a degenerate like uh, I am of that person? Then surely we can say, Ah, oh, you should play Narciss. And boom, you are already, you know, into VNs. Hey, that's how it pretty much started for me, okay? I think maybe Narkizu was not like the first VN I played, but... That's the one that got me hooked up on the genre. Yeah. So yeah, you, if you haven't played it, do yourself a favor and uh, play it. It's on Steam. It's on Steam. And the one... The first one... I wonder if it's still there. Yeah, the first one is for free. The first and second, basically, it's titled. First, Narkizu first and second. Play that. There are more of Narkizu on Steam. And uh, Or you know what, check the... You know what, you can as well check the videos. I think it was... 2015? It was 2014 or 15, I'm not sure. Boy, I was used recording that on the old PC. The commentary was recorded to tablet, then moved to Audacity, and then further edited in uh, in video editor. <laughs> there was a lot of a lot of steps to that. Now I can do it in one software. Let's go. Anywho, <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Fine! Since this is gonna be my very first game! I know, maybe something popular. I mean, if you think about it, a lot of popular games are rather easy, I would say. Sort of. On the other hand, hmm. Like, right now, indie games are definitely giving better quality, I would say. At least that's my opinion here. Not to mention like the supposed AAA games are way overpriced. Anyway. It was definitely worth a shot. Six hours later. She's like, ah, it's alright. Modius really took her time playing the game. She was already familiar with the mechanics and such. Not bad for your first time, Modius. Not bad. And then... Hi! Hi! I thought this is gonna be a heartwarming story! <clears throat> she said that while crying. I, wait, are you crying? Modius! No! I, I'm not an idiot, Baka! I just had something in my eyes! And that's all! Hmm... That sounds like a typical excuse you've heard a lot of times. You'll cry during Narcissa. <laughs> if you play it. I did. I'm not ashamed of it at all. Another that would made me want... Uh, made me shed the tears. Chushingura. Also on Steam. Uh, First chapter was free, the other four are not. We played it as well, over 100 episodes. Ah, Also one of my favorite VNs. Anyway. 
but it's already obvious that Modius went full emotional this exact moment. And I claim can't blame her for that at all. Right. Looks like a PS gamepad. I mean most people who played this game experienced the same thing. I'm glad that was a good choice for the first game. Several hours later. Apparently our day is longer than 24 hours. <laughs> we spent a couple of hours playing different video games. And I think Bodius is a little bit tired of that. I mean, she played 6 hours the first one. Of course she is. Since she wasn't playing with the same enthusiasm as before. But she still keeps playing despite that. I think that's enough for the moment. Phew! This is so much fun! I think I understand way better how Malina feels about that. But I feel so tired right now. I can't keep it up any longer than that. Ha! <laughs> oh, I see. Maybe we should stop playing games for now. And do something else for a change. How is that, Modius? That's a good idea! I agree! Good to hear. Watching a movie. Let's do it. Alright. We decide to watch some movies. That's what couples are supposed to do when they are in home. I guess that's one of the possibilities. Right. Hmm. Let's see. What should we watch today? Let me think for five seconds. Hmm. Okay. Five. Ah! How? How about something similar to what we watched yesterday at the movie theater? That really piqued my interest. Oh, I see. Fair enough. I think there will be something worth watching with the popular streaming service HFLX. And next thing, Modius was like, Um, I have her. Would you let me pick a movie this time? Please? Hmm. I must be imagining this. Or maybe that's just me. But when he was asking me politely for something feels a little bit out of the character. Still, she's so cute when she does that. And I can't just simply say no to her. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I don't mind that. Thank you, Arthur. Alright. Here we go. A few moments later. After a bit of searching. We've settled on this one. NTBK. And this time. It's Modius who picked that one. After long scrolling between the movie selection out there. Wait, isn't this the same one? Hmm? Sorry. Hmm? I'm not so sure if it's a good pick. What do you think, Arthur? Well, uh... I didn't watch it myself. And really... We won't know if it's good or bad until we give it a try. So let's just do that, shall we? Yeah, Arthur. Let's start watching. Here we go! In a, uh, in a nursing home, resident Flanders reads a romance story to an old woman who has senile dementia with memory loss. In the late 1930s, oh, I remember those times. Well, wealthy 19 year old Vanessa, holy crap, making this voice actually hurts. What the hell? That's weird. Wealthy 19 year old Vanessa Christel is spending summer vacation in Seabrook. Wow. It really is a weird feeling when I'm doing this voice now. Holy crap. Anyway. Local worker Sam Alexander means Vanessa at the carnival. And they soon fall in love with each other. One day. Sam brings Vanessa to an ancient house that 
he dreams of buying and restoring and they attempt to make love but get interrupted by their friend. Oh my god. Vanessa's parents do not approve of the romance since Sam belongs to another social class and they move to New York with her. Sam writes love letters, lots of letters to Vanessa. But her mother Samantha Hamilton does not deliver them to her daughter. Would be funny if she was reading those letters and she would fall in love with him. Three years later, a big war happened and Sam and his best friend John enlist in the army. And Vanessa works as an army nurse. She meets injured soldier Kobe Darrell in the hospital. After the war, they meet each other again going on dates and then... Kobe, who is wealthy and handsome, proposes. Meanwhile, Sam buys and restores the old house and many people want to buy it. When Vanessa accidentally sees the photo of Sam and his house in a newspaper, she feels divided between her first love and her commitment with Kobe. Meanwhile, Flanders stops reading the old lady since his children are visiting him in the nursing home. V and Almost two hours passed. And to be fair, it was a pretty long movie. But it was a very well spent two hours. I guess. <laughs> hey, Mon. <clears throat> hey, <clears throat> fuck. Hey, Modius. You didn't fall asleep while watching, did you? No, I didn't. Are you expecting me to sleep every time we watch or something? Of course not. Fuck, no, I can't. <laughs> I did this weird ass voice. And now I can't do the one that I was doing for, uh, well, technically for myself, I guess, given that I named the character after me, but it's so weird. Oh, <clears throat> I was just asking. So then, how was the movie? Did you like it? Hmm, yeah, I did actually. To be honest, it was a pretty good one. Oh, I see. Great to hear that. But... Oh my goodness! The couple in the movie, just like the one we watch in the movie theater, was very, very, very... Degenerate! And that scene where they're holding hands in particular was very... Very, very loot. <laughs> yep, she said it again. Modius really can't mention hand holding without considering it degeneracy. You can consider Modius hand holding and degeneracy. Like a bunch of lines crossing each other into a single point. But hey, that sounds like a math analogy. And no one wants to be reminded with that here. Not to mention, she always saying she'll control herself. She always says, but whatever. I guess that won't happen anytime soon. And that's a fact. Oh, well. It doesn't really matter for now. Modius was really having fun with it already. And that's the important thing. Huh. <sighs> that was a very busy day. We've done all sorts of fun stuff. And... Would you look at the clock? 9 p.m. The day is over. I feel exhausted already. And so modius, it seems. We both yawned. <sighs> So, I went ahead and asked Modius about dinner. Do you feel hungry, Modius? Should we make something for dinner? She responded with an almost sleepy face. And lots of yawning. No, no, I'm fine. I don't think I can eat something right now. Not after that pancake fast feast we had today. 
So I think I'll get enough with eating an apple and call it a day. Fair enough. We've ended up making loads of them anyway. I think I'll do the same and have an apple as well. After some eating. And brushing teeth and all the good stuff. <laughs> it's time to sleep. Ah, <sighs> Arthur? Yes, Modius. Is there something bothering you? No, not at all. I was thinking about some stuff recently. And I have something to say this to you. I had a ton of uh, fun with today's date. Just like the day before. And I had it. I heard what you said. With a degenerate like you. Just kidding. But, in all seriousness, I never thought the day where I will experience love stuff will come. Every day in hell was boring to the touch. And you decided to come out that day. And do all sorts of things to get your goal achieved. But then, you ended up making your choice of dating a demon girl for real. Instead of your original harem goal. And picking me as your first choice. I couldn't be any more happier than that, you know? What do you said that with a genuine smile of hers? A smile that I've never seen her made before. Even once. Thank you so much for having dates with a perverted demon girl like me. Yeah. And I hope I can be a good girlfriend for you. I'm genuinely happy to hear these words from Modius. Modius, that she was at one point. is a generic demon girl that thinks about nothing but loot stuff all day long. And in just a few days here with me, she becomes a completely different person. I guess that saying love can really change the person drastically is holding true. Glad to hear that from you, Modius. And I too enjoyed the date as well. I'm glad the decision to make that adventure in hell really giving its fruits now. Oh wow. We really took a decent amount of time talking before sleep. Now it's 10 pm. <laughs> oh wait, it's already this late? Guess we should call it a day right now. Indeed. Let's do just that. Good night, Arthur. Have sweet dreams. You too, Modius. Good night. It's a new day. And it's a beautiful day indeed. Birds are singing, which sucks. I wish they were quiet. Flowers are blooming, that's nice. In days like this. Wait, you did it again. People like you should... Wait a minute. What am I saying here? You know what? Let's pretend you've never heard that in the first place. Okay? Moving on. So, out of nowhere, and while I was minding my own business, I was sitting in the living room reading a book. I bet you were imagining something else, aren't you? Well, whatever. Modius came towards me. She sits next to me. And then she asked me this. Arthur, I have a serious question for you. Uh, okay. Do you love me? Why are you asking that out of nowhere? Okay, let's try again. Do you love me? Well, what can I say? Come on, Arthur. Do you love me? You're really putting me in the entire situation. <laughs> That's not what I want to hear. Do you love me? Are you exaggerating right now? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Do you love me? Stop asking the same question. No, I won't. Until I hear an answer. Do you love me? Okay. Okay, I will answer. Do you love me? I love you, yes, I said it. 
and I'll say it for over a hundred times if needed. So, here goes nothing. I love you, Modius. I love you, Modius. I love you, Modius. I love you, Modius. By the way, look at top top left corner right corner right now. I love you, Modius. I love you, Modius. Oh, oh, there is no comments in the top corner now. Damn it! I love you, Modius. 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 I have too much time right now. I love. No, I actually don't. But whatever. I love you, Modius. 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 We're halfway there. I love you, Modius. 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 I'm losing voice. I love you, Modius. I love you, Modius. Did I skip one? I think so. I love you, Modius. 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 Modius, I love you. I love you, Modius. I love you, Modius. I love you, Modius. Love you, Modius. I. I love you, Modius. I love you, Modius. I love you, Modius. Modius, I love you. I love you, Modius. 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 Get on my level, I can repeat that hundred times. Let's go! Well... Ah... Uh, that was weird... And excessive... But... I'm glad to hear that from you at last! And... Same goes for me! I'll repeat it over a hundred times as well. Me. I love you, Arthur. <laughs> Fuck, we are going with that. <laughs> oh. I feel uncomfortable saying my own name. You know what to do right now. Scroll back, no? Ah, you can scroll back, that's true. I love you, Arthur. For the hundredth time, I love you, Arthur. Forever and ever. <laughs> Game. The end. <sighs> well, I definitely felt saying that line over and over again. Hello, 
Hello there. How are you doing? Was this Maudie was talking to you? Hope you're doing great, Arthur. Or should I call you? <laughs> How the fuck do you know that? <laughs> what the hell? Did you, wait, did you take it from the... I think I know where this the, the name is taken from. The, the, the original. <laughs> you already are. Because you're playing the game right now. Oh, I know what you're already thinking. <laughs> How? I know you want to ask all these questions. One, how do you know my name? Two, why are you talking to me now? And three, you're already aware this is a game. Just take it easy, Arthur. I'll ask for the questions right now. One, a simple trick for me is all I need to know. Your real name. Two, because I feel it's really the best time to do that. And three, yes, I'm already aware of that. And I was pretending to not know anything. Just as if I was just following a script. And I think I did a pretty good job with that. There were several hints back there. And I suppose you didn't notice them. Or maybe you did. Who knows? And, well, I won't blame you for that. And you may be wondering. Why are you talking to me at the end of the game? Are you going to do something to it? <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't worry. I won't do something to the game like a certain view game character did. I'm not sure what she's talking about. Wink, wink. Because I just don't have the power to do so. So, don't fret. Anyhow, let's just cut to the, ca to the case. Here we go. I just want to take this part to say this. Thank you so much, Arthur, for playing the game. I really appreciate it. I hope it does leave some... Did. I hope it did leave some nice impression within you. And I hope, so hope, you've enjoyed playing it. As much as the developer have enjoyed making it. Hope we've delivered to your expectations. That's what I want to say. That's gonna do it for me now. Take care of yourself. Have a nice day. Or a nice evening. Or even night. Wherever you are. Whenever you are. And I'll take my leave now. Goodbye. The end. For real this time. Oh, okay, I did not expect that scene. I did not expect that scene. Story and development by Sailor Art, visuals as well, or also Unsplash, sounds, mid seas music, sound effect lab, Renpy. We know about Renpy. Date with Modius. However, what I would like to uh, mention right now, I'm a little surprised. Am I? Yes, I am a little surprised. Van Ripper, right? The one who created the original Helldaker. I'm surprised. Uh, well, he, I know it's a, it's a he, as I've seen the profile on Twitter. Mm. I'm surprised he didn't think of making like something like this, like this date with modules for each girl. Right? Dude, he could even make it paid. People would pay for it, that's for sure. And people would definitely play those with pleasure. I mean, come on, the original game has almost 110,000 reviews, like... 
drop another health taker even in for form of a VN just you whatever date modules date judgment date Lucifer and so on that would be cool actually to have but what we do have is like over here date with modules from someone else there was a, uh, a nice jump definitely definitely a nice uh, broadening of the world sort of yeah something like that well overall pretty decent VN hope you will enjoy it as well uh, the link to the game of course in the description it's on ninja.io what else is in the description is Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, where I am. You can follow me there if you are into that stuff. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking it. And most importantly, subscribe if you haven't already. And, well, if you enjoyed the content, that would be very much appreciated. We are now on the route to two and a half thousand, so, you know. It would be nice to have you on the board as well. We have imaginary pancakes, by the way. The good ones. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna end it here. Um, maybe we'll record one more game, maybe not. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. I want to work out a little bit. And then I'll think about recording or not. For now, for date with modules, we are finished. Have a wonderful day. Hope to see you tomorrow in the next game as well. That's about it. Bye-bye.